Okay guys, so I've literally been trying out every trick in the book to beat Gwen and so far it hasn't been working out so I kind of came up with this little strategy myself uh, combining other tips that people give now the key to this is gonna be flash sweat and for this special occasion I've brought out my crystal halberd which has pretty high damage and we're gonna buff it with the charcoal pine resin which is gonna give it a little bit of fire because Gwen is weak to fire and of course flash sweat is to reduce his fire damage so I'm really hoping that this is gonna work uh, so as soon as we go through I'm gonna use flash sweat and let's get to it so yeah this crystal halberd is pretty damn strong I have to say uh, anytime you want to heal just get between these rocks and Gwyn will get stuck on them oops so yeah I want to get as much damage in as we possibly can Wait, did my flash sweat wore off already? On heal. Okay, I'd rather have him grab me and deal some damage than me dying. Oops. Okay, this is not good. Heal up, heal up. trying to get to one of these rocks so that I can quickly get this recast okay that's still fine his grab is still the least dangerous thing he has I have to say come on I'm so bad at dodging his attacks. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay, let's try this again. I've switched to a Dragon Crest Shield, which I've picked up in the Valley of Drakes, and it has very high fire resistance as well, so it should help me out quite a lot. Hopefully, at least. Yes, Perry. That's it. That's a good start. Oh no, he grabbed me. Luckily, I still have, I have flash sweat on. Which means that my damage was reduced. I would say that anytime your health gets below 50%, I would heal. Yes, another parry. Okay, this might be it. I just have to be careful not to screw this up. One more parry. Excellent. No. It's also... A his grab move is a good chance to deal some damage but also to heal up one more hit and he's dead yes that's it he's dead he's dead <sighs> holy crap I just beat Dark Souls didn't I wow imagine if I wasn't recording right now holy crap did that just seriously happen Thank you Crystal Halberd, thank you Dragon Crest Shield and Flesh Sweat and everything. Whew. Okay, now for the ending. Basically we have two opportunities here, I mean two choices. We could light the bonfire or we could walk out the door. Now, the thing is the game makes you believe that lighting the bonfire is the good ending. 
but if you read the lore of the game it's actually not basically if you light the bonfire you just keep the age of the gods from ending and if you walk out the door the age of the gods ends and the age of man can finally begin so that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna remove my helmet just to look more badass and also pretty much after all this trouble I've been through I think I deserve to rule the wor world and be the Dark Lord so yeah we're gonna walk out looking badass in that armor although our face isn't too pretty oh these guys are so creepy I should probably shut up yes they all bow down to me my guy is just like yeah I'm badass Exactly. So, wow. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but that was Dark Souls, guys. Thank you for the trophy, Dark Lord. Always nice. So, let's just watch the credits roll and I'm gonna talk about the game. So, basically, when I started it, I never thought that I would ever be able to finish this game. The first, like, five hours were hell. You can probably go back and watch those videos, I was dying constantly and honestly there were several points where I thought about giving up but well especially during the Capra Demon and the Bell Gargoyle those bosses were the low point after that it started kind of going up I mean this game is really one of the best games I've ever played at least it's one of the games I enjoy the most basically Unlike other games, it actually forces you to think and improve instead of just leading you by the hand. And that's obviously what other people like about this game too. So yeah, I mean, I did it. Wow, I'm still kind of in shock. Holy crap. I mean, yeah, that's the thing with this game. Sometimes you feel like a boss is impossible like the previous 20 times I th I've tried to fight Gwen I thought he was gonna be impossible but you know this time I think something just clicks and you learn the boss's patterns and attacks and once you do that he's e easy so yeah that was Dark Souls everyone I wanna thank everyone who watched this LP whether you watched one episode or whether you watched all of them and I appreciate every single like, comment and whatever I take I read every comment, I try to reply to every comment so yeah this was Dark Souls, so what's gonna be next? well I do have the other Souls game sitting on my desk I bought it a few weeks ago and I didn't want to start it until I finished this game so, yeah, gonna be trying out that one. I'm gonna try to go for a completely blind run with that game. And I just wanna see how my uh, skills from this game would carry over to that game. Because I have heard that Demon Souls is even harder. So, yeah, we're gonna see. I'm probably gonna take like a few days of break, probably the weekend, because. I want to focus on my other game, Shadow of the Colossus, first, which I have to be honest, I kind of neglected for a little bit because I just wanted to be done with this game. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Or should I wait for the credits to roll? Well, I don't know how much time there is left from it. Well, all that happens at the end is you start New Game Plus. Which means, of course, that the enemies are harder, and uh, but you start out with all your levels and starting equipment. I think you get double double souls from everything, 
So yeah, I might be trying that out. Or I thought about going for a different build. I've already started an other character with magic, like a mage class, and that's pretty much a lot of fun. So yeah, that's one great thing about this game, that you can just experiment and just keep coming back to it. It's not like, I don't know, like Call of Duty where you finish the single player and that's it. I mean, not that I particularly like Call of Duty's multiplayer, so there's not much interest for me there. So yeah, I might delve into new game a little bit. One thing I was thinking about was doing an entire playthrough in the Santaos armor and using his equipment and pyromancies. So I might just do that as we come to the end of the credits. I wanna again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.